Red Dot Snake Eyes. Looking good. Ah, I smell Adele. I've told you several times. Put a damn shirt on. Ah, what are you doing here, Vince? Uh, pal? <laughs> Listen up, Vince. Why are you so tall? Uh, pal? You know, Mattel. Those bros don't scale. Ah, maggots. Where's your hand? Never mind. Ah, Dookie. Looking good. Ah, Flint. Gotta love a man that cuts his face. Eden. Mm. For Christ's sake, Scarlet, get off the ice. And that's in order. Ah, Snake Eyes. I don't know what level you're on, but it's not a good one. Ah, who's that? Ah, dude who does not look like Lady J. Where's your hat, soldier? That's Chris Evans' breaker to you, sir. <sighs> Where the hell is Lady J? She went on a special mission to find Marsha. Who the hell is that? Uh, what's that smell? Uh, it's disgusting. Oh, that's just me, Sarge. You know I keep it au natural. Uh, uh, uh. Where the hell is Roadblock? Right here, sir! Uh, hashtag not my Roadblock. You look more like heavy duty to me. Welcome back, True Believers, Elite Legend, back at you guys with another G.I. Joe Classified Series video. And the action figure gods have shined down upon the Elite Legend and bestowed upon me a little package that the Elite Legend will be showing off later on in this video. But before we take a look at my small package, we're gonna take a, I'm going to take you guys on a little journey that the Elite Legend has been on and trying to find a suitable roadblock for my G.I. Joe Classified series collection. So my journey to secure a suitable roadblock started off with Road Rock, as you see here. And then the journey continued as I added this Cobra Island, a.k.a. Scalper Island exclusive, Target Clearance Isle exclusive roadblock, or shall I say heavy duty. This figure just didn't cut it for the Elite Legend. It's, uh, as Dusty would say, an imposter. Imposteria, if you will. Dusty, I'm pretty sure imposteria is not a word. Elite Legend! Imposteria. Write that down in your dictionary. That the new word sweeping the nation. And I heard that David claimed to have a imposteria. Make pee pee in my wife's beautiful garden. Oh, my little baby boy, Dutton. Patio. My little baby boy, Dutton. To cute, to cuddly. The apple of my eye. You better hope I come across an imposteria when I lay upon my bionic elbow on you, daddy. It's going to be a hard time, blue. All right, Dusty. Imposteria. Hope you guys wrote that down. Now, the next roadblock that I was able to secure was none other than a Funko Pop roadblock. And this roadblock is actually in classic attire. So if you want to get a classic attire figure from G.I. Joe, you got to go the miniature route. Funko Pop, Jada Toys, even that abomination from their classic line. Now, the next roadblock that I was able to secure was a classic roadblock. I believe it's version 2 of roadblock from the old days. And this figure was half the man he used to be, but I'm glad to see that he is now standing on his own two legs. Ew, what do you mean? He's standing on... Oh! Little roadblock! You live! Shut up, fool. Don't pay attention to my little head. I ain't your little head, fool! I'm little roadblock! Sometimes, a little head gets you farther in life. Wow. Things just get weirder and weirder on Elite Legend Toys and Collectibles. <laughs> I 
Anything can happen on Elite Legend Toys and Collectibles, pal. Anything indeed. And now, the most recent roadblock that I was able to pick up was actually not roadblock at all. When I was looking at the comments in one of my No Classifies No Problem videos, where I ended up securing three roadblocks, this was, well, two roadblocks. Because this bad boy is actually a Sigma-6 heavy duty. So, to give you guys a breakdown, Roadblock only has a mustache and the little soul patch. Heavy Artillery has the goatee without the stash. So basically, these two can plug in like the Road Warriors. Oh, what a rush! Uh, I don't know. I think you should leave that to the pros, Roadblock. Nobody knows the trouble I see, especially when I'm dealing with those hoes. What? I finally got rid of the dead weight! Whoa, you look like you're in the Bone Thugs in Harmony Crossroads video. I'm getting too old for this. Danny Glover? Hey, hey it's Dirty Milk Water Storm Shadow! And... Oh! Snake Eyes! Whoa! Do you smell what the rock is cooking, jabroni? Uh, it smells like burnt ninja. That, my friends, was cold-blooded. You damn right! Now I promised you guys I was gonna show off my small package, and here it is. <coughs> Whoa! And as you see here, a special box from Hasbro. This is an Amazon exclusive figure, and I love this little shipper box. This is a USA and Canada recyclable pa 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 Books, please! And here we see a little sticker there. And I I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't seen Marsha in forever. I don't know where the hell she's at. Apparently, the G.I. Joes have sent dude who does not look like Lady J on a special mission to try to find Marsha. Um, and that's the only way I'm able to open boxes. So I think you guys are just going to be looking at this <laughs> brown cardboard box for the rest of the video. <laughs> Hi, Elite Legend. I'm back. I already did it. Elite Legend, I know how to please you. Ah, get back down there. All right, and we have the Amazon exclusive Milky Way. This looks delicious, but the Elite Legend can't even eat this because there's 37 carbs, and the Elite Legend has to stay under 20 for my keto. So... I'm going to have to toss this delicious, rich, chocolatey snack away. Eh! Sorry, Ron. It seems like Ron's always on the receiving end of the abuse. Let me know in the comments, what are you guys thinking of this sweet shipper box? So let's go ahead and see if the Elite Legend has the actual. There we go. It is the heavy artillery roadblock. And there we see the figure that has haunted the Elite Legends dreams for quite a while now. A few weeks ago, a lot of individuals ended up getting their Amazon exclusive delivered to their door a little bit early. Not the Elite Legend. I had to sit down and watch people take nature shots with their roadblock. I had to sit back and watch people play in the garden with their roadblocks. He made pee pee in my wife's beautiful garden. Roadblock? No! David! So let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful figure. I am so excited to have this in my collection. This is as classic as we are going to get in the G.I. Joe Classified series. So here you see on the box we see Roadblock with his big old machine gun, heavy artillery. There we see Roadblock on the side of the box. And if you take a look at the backside, you can see some incredible detail. And this is number 28 in the G.I. Joe Classified Series line. All right, so the Elite Legend is very excited to get this guy out of the box. But before we do that, I want to give credit where credit's due. I want to thank dude who does not look like Lady J for finding Marsha, who made it possible for the Elite Legend to break through that cardboard entrapment that was holding Roadblock back. Dude who does not look like Lady J, get out here. Highly legend. Uh. 
Hi, dude who does not look like Lady J. Thank you so much for finding Marsha. Where was she? <laughs> Elite Legend, I knew you were going to want me to open up Roadblock, so I already did it. <coughs> Back down there. Now, before we open up Roadblock, I want to show you guys this cool little sticker that comes on the Amazon box. I didn't know what to do with it, and Elite Legend finally figured it out. This is what we do with that little cool sticker. It looks like a license plate. So you simply take that sticker, bam! We have just improved the aesthetics of that dude who does not look like Lady J figure. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take Roadblock out of the box and see how he compares to some other G.I. Joe classified series figures. Ah! What the hell? Ah! Ah! Disgusting. Mocking me with words that I cannot read. And there we have it. The glory that is the heavy artillery Milky Way. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It is now time for the sweet sounds of release. Sweet Christmas, Luke Cage. Now, before we take a look at Roadblock, let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. And first, you see this big old machine gun, and it actually rotates. And he wouldn't be heavy artillery Roadblock if he didn't have the heavy artillery. So here you see his little box of ammo. Not a whole lot of detail here. But you got to give credit where credit's due. Hasbro is not in the business of making toy guns. They make Nerf guns. And for the most important accessory, Vince? Ah, oh, yeah. This helmet's filthy. I'm going to have to take care of it. Ah. All right. Now, I'm a little bummed out that we didn't get a backpack. What is a classic G.I. Joe character without a backpack? The good folks at Hasbro will say, cost effective so here we see roadblock in all of his glory and this figure is amazing from the head down to the calves or head down to right before you see the boots and what the fuck are these come on you make a classic roadblock and you give him these stupid space boots what are these how are these even remotely comfortable how are these even practical like i don't know but there you see he does have bigger feet than we normally have with gi joe classified series figures i love this figure from the calves up let me know in the comments have any of you done any modifications to make roadblock look less futuristic from the calf down so you take roadblock's gun and you just basically slide it in like this bam so now you have it fully assembled and ready to fit into Roadblock's waiting arms. And you're going to want to be careful when you try to secure him here. You're probably going to want to heat the hands up because you don't want to snap the shaft. Listen, Daddy. When you're handling the shaft, you want to make sure your hands are nice and soft. I go a little... <laughs> Dusty, that's too much information. That's funky, Daddy. That's the American dream. All right. And how sick is this? Look at Roadblock holding his machine gun. The only thing that I want to complain about a little bit is the coloring of the figure. This figure was molded in the brown skin tone. But you can see here, it has like this chalky substance. I try to wipe it off, but it's not coming off. Um, it just looks bad. Whoa! You should know better than that. Well, now I know. And you know what knowing is? Half the battle? Damn right. Now, I almost forgot one more <laughs> accessory. And it's probably my favorite accessory. No, it's not this machine gun. It's actually this. Because this looks like an actual handgun. It does not look like a space gun. It does not look futuristic. If I can get it to focus, look at that. I love it. You just take it and you slide it right into this holster. And boom. And it doesn't want to slide in. Allow me, daddy. 
And we have another Snake Eyes scenario where the actual weapon doesn't fit in the holster. Snake Eyes actually had a knife that wouldn't go inside of the sheath. Come on, Hasbro, you can do better than that. And now here we see the Cobra Island roadblock alongside the Amazon exclusive heavy artillery roadblock, a.k.a. Milky Way. And you can see that it's simply um, a repaint. Oh no! I heard there's been a repaint violation, punk! Uh, who called the big boss, man? L really? The repaint police? You guys are bringing that back? Taking it way back! Like Cadillac's daddy. Dusty, I think Roadblock is the one that's supposed to be rhyming all the time. But that's neither here nor there. Let's take a look at how these two compare. So these are basically repainted figures with the exception of the unique texture on the tank top here for the heavy artillery roadblock. And the addition of this um, little suspender thingamajig and the helmet. <laughs> Give it to me! Ah, oh, come on, Vince! Ah. <sighs> Some things never change. And here we see Roadblock alongside of Flint and Dookie. And here is Roadblock alongside Dude who does not look like Lady J and Scarlet. Here is Roadblock sandwiched in between my makeshift Sergeant Slaughter since those bros at Valiverse apparently don't ship and to make it even worse they are fulfilling orders through big bad toy stores who definitely don't ship and of course we see the Iceman Chuck Liddell gung-ho and we see the roadblock alongside the Cobra Island beachhead and the red dot variant snake eyes <laughs> And there you see Roadblock in his Let's Hit Up 7-Eleven fan pose. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about these Joes? <laughs> so let me know in the comments, did you get your Milky Way yet? How many did you order? Are you like one of those people that wanted to help the community out, fam? And place this up on Mercari and eBay? Are you one of the people that wanted to flex by getting two of them so you can do this? And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legends' next videos. I drop content daily, so... <clears throat> ah, Dave, what's up? Elite Legend, English mother, do you speak it? I know you do, but do you read it? Look at the sign. Stop purchasing action figure! Sorry guys, Dave's a little stressed out. So if you haven't already done so, check out my G.I. Joe Classified Series playlist. And until next time, make mine.